In studio with me is uh, Louise Griffiths. Louise is the coordinator of the Kayapoi uh, Community Support, otherwise known as uh, KCS, which is part of Community uh, Wellbeing North Canterbury, the Trust. And uh, a very good morning. Good to have you back in the studio, uh, Louise. Hi. Hi. Thanks for having me back. Uh, tell us a little bit about the Kayapoi Community Support. What what exactly does it do? Yeah, we um, we're, we've been established in Kayapoi for, ooh, I think it was nearly 30 years now, or just over maybe. Um, we're fairly central. We're in Sewell Street in Kaipoi at the old community centre. We um, we host counsellors. We have a nurse maud supply collection point. We do room hire, have community law in every fortnight. If you need to speak to a lawyer, you can phone them. We've got a volunteer driver's scheme. So, yeah, if you have a hospital appointment or hairdressers or something you can't drive yourself, you can give us a ring. And we're always happy to give sort of general advice of, of, for people that need support. Wow. We've also got the, uh, the food bank, of course. Uh, exactly. Busy people and two for Tucker, by the way. How did that go this year? Oh, it was absolutely amazing. It's um probably the biggest year yet. We had the the fire trucks out and we had about a hundred volunteers involved altogether, and it was just amazing. And when we piled all the food into the mill room at the end, and we overspilled into our um, corridor outside, and then we overspilled into another room, and it was like, no, this is the best ever. So the community really bought into it so so much this year. It's amazing. Great, an avalanche of uh, of food and. The, the demand's going to be pretty high, do you think, uh, higher than ever this festive season? Yeah, we've definitely seen higher demand um, since COVID um, and earlier in the year, and that's just mounting and mounting. But certainly I've noticed the, the footfall coming through the door for food parcels is um, exceptionally high, and there are people coming in that have never, ever come in for a food parcel before and probably never thought they would. So we're always trying to be really welcoming, and anybody comes in, they're, they're not going to feel like they're, they're receiving charity or anything. It's, it's something that we all might need one day and we want people to feel like that when they come through the door. Yeah, absolutely. And what about um, mental and emotional well-being? Um, uh, an increase in demand for that service as well? Yes, yes, there is, definitely. And we, we can put people, we can point them in the right direction if they're feeling that they need some support. They can give us a ring or come and see us and we can help them get that support. Yeah, well, Christmas, you know, the holiday period, it does put that extra pressure on a lot of families, doesn't it, Louise? Mm. Are you running a Christmas giving program? And, and if so, tell us a bit about it. Yep. So we've got our Christmas giving program that we've been doing for many years now. Uh, we've got trees around the place, Westpac, um, in Kaipoi, New World Kaipoi, and the library in Kaipoi, and also um, Ray White's. And you can bring an unwrapped present in uh, to those if you'd like to help someone who perhaps needs a little bit of um, extra joy this Christmas. And we just ask for presents for all age groups, really, not just for young children. And uh, yeah, we, we um, get referrals from all over the place for families that will benefit from those presents. And the volunteers collect them and sort them and make sure they go to the perfect home. It's a really satisfying part of, of our job. Absolutely. So those gifts, you'd prefer them to be unwrapped. I guess that's so mum and dad can see what they'll be giving to their child or teen. Yeah, yeah? absolutely. Yeah. And that's all part of it, isn't it? Wrapping the presents for your family. Absolutely. And so we can make sure that it does go to the perfect home as well. Yep. Um, when would you like the gifts to be dropped off to those Christmas giving partners, Louise? Yeah, I, I think it would be absolutely wonderful if they were all in by the 21st of December, but I understand that's not always possible. It's just to allow us to get them all sorted and, and distributed to the families. But if it's going to be after the 21st, then that's fine. We're collecting up until 12 o'clock, I think it is, on Christmas Eve. Well, it's going to be a busy time for you. Are you ready for it? Oh, born ready. <laughs> you and your team, amazing people. Louise Griffiths, everybody, is the coordinator of uh, the Kayapoi Community Pantry and uh, Community Wellbeing North Canterbury Trust. is all part of what you do, isn't it, Louise? It is, yeah. yeah. All right, lovely to see you again. And this is Compass FM.